What's going on internet? IG back again today. And today I'm gonna to be looking at Nitrix OS. Nitrix OS is a very curious project and uh, that's why we're looking into it today because really it's gotta be one of the most unique distributions that I have seen. It's got a very interesting vision of what it wants to do. And while the iteration that you can download and use today is far from what the development team have in store and have in mind for this distribution, it's a fascinating look into the future as to what might be the Linux that we could all be running uh, in, in the future. So that's what we're headed today. Hop on board, let's see what we can find out. Okay, so Nitrix OS, first of all, a bit of history. Uh, the Nitrix team um, and the, the developers behind it, uh, they first, I believe, they first started with, uh, with user interface design and theming and uh, custom widgets and that kind of thing for the Plasma desktop environment. Now, fast forward a few years and you've got the Nitrix OS. Now it has been around for a couple of years uh, and it's been slowly iterating towards what their grand vision is for a Linux desktop. And if you were wondering about, you know that word convergence that Ubuntu used to like to throw around a lot? Well, these guys might be the guys who actually pull it off and they have got some grand plans for uh, for how to get there. So this is a little bit of a, uh, this, this OS is a little bit of a proof of concept more than, uh, more than anything at this stage. Uh, they're at the 1.0.16 release version at the moment. Uh, and while it at the moment appears to be a, maybe a custom version of Plasma on top of what may be something like an Ubuntu base, um, they're really just using whatever bits are gonna work best for the job to achieve a, a bigger goal. So, uh, first of all, I'm just gonna point your attention to the one of the lead developers uh, posts about the road of development towards Nitrix 1.1, because this is really coming up very close. Um, they're talking about um, they're talking about some fundamental shifts in the way that uh, Linux projects handle certain things. Um, and they're also working on having their own custom toolkit to be able to develop apps and uh, software and stuff for their system that can work cross-platform on multiple window sizes, phones, the whole lot. Their vision is to be able to have a coherent user interface and app suite that works across multiple devices, the true meaning of convergence, and, uh, and that's what they're working towards. Now, they've also got some other really interesting ideas about, uh, about app image universal apps. So these are apps that are deployed as opposed to installed. They are sandbox to a degree, and, uh, and they're up there along with uh, Snap and Flatpak, and they have their own distinctions against those other two universal app frameworks. But they are looking to integrate app images into their custom software center uh, and make it one of the best uh, platforms to distribute app images on the internet. Uh, so they're looking to integrate with uh, all the different platforms that already exist for distributing app images and incorporating them into a software center on the desktop. Okay, so I realize we've started out on a pretty low, like on a pretty, uh, on a pretty nitpicky detailed kind of basis here for what this distribution is about. But I just wanted to kind of clear that up out the way before I started talking about, oh, how gorgeous is the theming and oh, the look and feel and blah, blah, blah. Because honestly, you know, we, we all know that Linux can be customized to look however you want it to. And yes, absolutely. These guys do a great job with their look and feel uh, and they have done for a very long time. That's kind of what they're really good at. Um, and so absolutely this distribution is gorgeous. It looks amazing. And just to clear it up, it is running a custom set of, of widgets and a custom uh, theme on top of the Plasma desktop. So it's not its own desktop environment and the developers are really clear about that. And also at the same time, it's not just a theme on top of uh, KDE Plasma. They, they do have their own custom widgets in there uh, to kind of make it its own beast. Um, but again, this is all to achieve, uh, I guess, a grander vision of where they want to go with this particular system. So 
The software center right now, as it stands, is not much to write home about. You've got a couple of um, app images here that you can install, and uh, it's very simple uh, in, uh, get or remove, and that's kind of all there is to it at this point. And of course, you can download and install app images from, uh, from the internet the same way that you would if you were on a Mac, for example. Now, uh, the interesting thing is, is that the, the integration of where this is headed um, and especially a lot of the custom work that's being done on their Maui project, which is their, um, their custom toolkit for making uh, apps. Right now they're working on a file manager, a music player, uh, and a couple of other things, I believe, all with a vision to be able to run them on multiple screen sizes, uh, Plasma Mobile, all of that fun stuff. So image gallery, uh, file Explorer, all of that fun stuff. It's all being worked on in the background. So this is a very, very ambitious project, but you wouldn't actually know it was really going after this stuff unless you took the time to jump onto their, uh, onto their Medium blog and actually read what's going on. Uh, because on the surface, when you're actually using 1.0.16, uh, it does seem a little bit lackluster or like it's missing some core functionality. And that's why you probably either haven't heard of this distribution or, uh, or you probably don't have a lot of interest in this distribution because really uh, it's not quite at prime time usage yet. Uh, it's a, it is an indication of what is to come. And that vision of what they have is not only very compelling, but it has potential to be very, very beautiful, very well integrated, very well thought out for uh, utilizing technologies that don't, that haven't really been fully, um, haven't really been fully pushed to their limit in other desktop environments and in other Linux distributions. Now, to be clear, uh, this distribution is, is basically running on an Ubuntu development base. So that means at the moment, I think it's running with a, a lot of Cosmic Cuttlefish um, stuff in the background. Um, and so you still have apt and you still have um, all of that going on underneath, but they very, very, very strongly recommend and suggest that um, to use uh, Nitrix, you fully embrace the whole app image uh, movement. And that's the primary way of uh, running and installing and using software. So I guess the long and the short of Nitrix OS is that if you're wanting to jump on and get involved with something that's a little bit futuristic and, uh, and help them towards their, uh, their vision of a convergence style desktop or something that is very beautiful and unlike anything else on the Linux market, then you should definitely jump in and give Nitrix OS a spin with the, uh, with the knowledge that very soon they will be uh, launching into version 1.1. I believe there is a pre-release ISO available for that that you can download if you uh, hit up their, their website or their Medium blog. And really the defaults that you see here, like the global menu, the dock at the bottom, uh, the custom launcher, all of this stuff is an indicator of what they are wanting to do uh, in the future. So while I probably wouldn't recommend you use this distribution as your prime time ready to go, as it is a bit of a hodgepodge of Ubuntu development release and KDE Neon and custom repositories built by the Nitrix team, uh, this is definitely a project to watch. It's very ambitious, it's very innovative, and I'm really curious to see where these guys go and where they land, even in a year's time, to see some of their custom apps and uh, see the Nomad desktop, which is what you're looking at now, uh, the, this set of custom widgets and theming, mature into the, the Maui uh, desktop and Maui projects that they are wanting to, uh, that they're wanting to complete. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the very next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.